Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen with WinnersAndWiners.com coming to you from the Steve Goodon studio on the expansive first floor of the Winners and Winers Sports and Entertainment Complex to bring you today's deep... Nope, it's the Shallow Six, everybody. How about that? Uh, it is college football. That means six plays kind of rocket fire here. So let's uh, let's get to it as quickly as possible. Uh, don't forget to let us know what you're playing on the day in the comment section. Tell us what games you're on. Five games max, one unit of police. Uh, let us know what the odds are, if they're anything different than the 110. Have uh, have per, have, uh, have mercy on me as I go back through and grade these. So let us know what your best picks are. If you get them right, we'll give you the shout-out. get enough right, you'll be capped for the day, just like Steve Godon. That's pretty dang cool right there. And, of course, uh, check out winnersandwinners.com, statsalt.com. Man, there is no better site for college football as you're able to have all the games there at your fingertips, full write-ups, previews, and predictions on I don't know what we've got over there. Probably 75, 80 games today. So make sure you check that out. Winners and Winners and our sister site over there at statsalt.com. And, of course, lastly, don't check, don't forget to check out our partners over there at pointsbet.com. Great state of New Jersey or Iowa. If you're there, you're looking for a place to bet, pointsbet is the answer. All right. So, real quick, let's take a look and uh, see how we did uh, See how we did yesterday. It was a, uh, it was a, it was a, uh, it was a, a, a bad day for it. We went one and two, one and two wasn't awful. Went one and one in college. Uh, Houston asked for us, uh, Justin Verlander shitting the bed. Absolutely was the surprise there as we, uh, we, we caught the, uh, we caught the Astros, uh, last night. We capped that at plus 120. It ended up, they been, they were like, uh, I, I think by the time that game went off, they were minus 137. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I arbed it guys. I, I chickened out. I had the, uh, I took the Yankees at, uh, at plus one twenty six, and I had uh, I had the Astros at plus one twenty. That's one of the advantages of doing this thing all night long. You get those early lines. So uh, yeah, I was guaranteed a uh, I was guaranteed a win there, and I'm going to take that every time. I'm going to anytime I anytime I can hit a twenty percent R bet, I'm going to do it. Uh, that's just kind of the way that works. So anyway, I felt bad for I felt bad for our pick. I wanted to see the Astros win, uh, but Yankees hung in there, and they're going back to Houston. So we'll. Uh, We'll so we'll see what happens there. Um, so and uh, what else do we have? Oh, we had uh, Northwestern. We had the team total under ten. I know you guys were kicking yourself if you had that bet when they went down there and scored a field goal in their first possession. But uh, don't worry, that was the last points they put on the board. Uh, we had UNLV, and man, they just uh, you knew their defense was going to get gashed by the running game. You could hope they answered a little bit better, but get a one or two stops. But man, they just didn't do it. They were as bad as we were thinking. So. Um, yeah, one and two, we go one and one college ball and we went one and one on the premium side as well as we had FAU to cover and they just, they just couldn't stop. Uh, they couldn't get any stops on, uh, the Marshall run def- uh, running game. They just couldn't do it. I, I don't know. Uh, Marshall had been pretty incompetent. Mostly most of the year running the football. They did well there. Um, and, uh, FAU lost outright. Not only didn't cover, they lost outright. Uh, but we were able to rally with, uh, Ohio state as they uh, took care of business and covered the spread there easily. And that was uh, that was kind of a gimme there against Northwestern. So one and one we go. Uh, two and three on the day for the five picks. But let's, uh, let's get rocking here on the shallow six. Uh, first of all, before we do that, uh, we've got we've actually got two cappers of the day that put their plays up there. Because um, I think uh, I think Cisco hadn't put no one up for the day before. So uh, we got two capper of the day picks. It is truly a, uh, it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Festivus miracle right here, guys. Um... Uh, Steve, he likes uh, his play of the day. Steve Godon, his play of the day goes to Duke and Virginia. Um, he's got Virginia minus three and a half. He said, I love the defense here to cause a lot of trouble for Duke. I expect Virginia to play hard at home and put up the points as they had a tough game in Miami. He said, let's go get this minus three and a half for the win and let's kill them bookies. Super Cisco, he said his play of the day for Saturday is Temple plus eight and a half. And, uh, I, I like that play as uh, well. I think that's I think that's a solid play as well. And uh, the uh, both of the both of those plays I was looking at, and both of those plays uh, I, I definitely lean in your guys' direction. So good luck on both of those. I think those uh, I think you got a real shot with both of those plays. All right. So uh, my plays. We're gonna start off with Clemson laying the big number here, minus twenty four and a half at Louisville. Uh, Trevor Lawrence really hasn't been Trevor Lawrence yet, but this could be the game uh, that a lot of Clemson fans have been waiting for. Uh, the Cardinals are headed in the right direction this season versus last season with their new coach, but their pass defense has been exposed in conference play. They've given up 370 yards per game through the air in conference play. 
Uh, and they're not that great against the run either. They've given up 500, excuse me, 215 yards per game in conference versus the rush. Uh, if you're scoring at home, that's 585 yards total. And that is not good. Uh, Louisville wants to run the ball, uh, but good luck versus a, a Clemson Tigers defense that just absolutely lives behind the line of the scrimmage and uh, line of scrimmage and uh, records t- uh, tackles for losses like nobody's business. They allow just three yards per carry. That is 11th in the division. Uh, go ahead and give me the Clemson Tigers minus the 24 and a half here. We're swinging out west where they call me Tex. Um, with lots of fake Britain eyes. Anyway, uh, channeling, uh, channeling Kid Rock. Uh, the, uh, taking a look at San Diego State and the San Jose Spartans. San Jose State Spartans looking at the total there of 46. Guys, we're going to zig instead of zagging with the San Diego State here. Uh, the Aztec defense is an absolute monster, especially against the run. But it's a good thing the Spartans have no desire or ability to run the football. Um, they, uh, they generally struggle on offense uh, as far as the Aztecs go. But this San Jose State team, they are an absolute train wreck on defense. They give up 495 yards per game. That is good for 122nd in the land. Uh, Spartans, they're probably going to throw 40 to 40, 42 to 45 times. And that's always a good thing when we're playing the over. Good things happen when you throw the football. You're either getting chunk yardage or you're stopping the clock. I like the San Diego State Aztecs and the San Jose State Spartans over 46 in this one. And turning our attention to the fun belt as the Louisiana Monroe uh, Warhawks travel to uh, the wilds of Virginia to take on the App State Mountaineers. Appalachian State is a 14.5 point home favorite in this one. Uh, this is the Mount, first time the Mountaineers have ever hosted a game as a top 25 team in the history of that program. Uh, these guys have been getting better every week, especially on the defensive side. Uh, we saw that game against Louisiana last week. They held the number one rush team in the country to 3.7 yards per carry, and they beat uh, the Raging Cajuns on the road. This is a very bad Warhawks defense that's given up 500 or more yards in half of their games, including giving up 750 to Iowa State. I think the Mountaineers roll this ugly defense and stay ranked in their home game. Give me the Appalachian State Mountaineers minus the 14 and a half points. And looking in the Big Ten, uh, the Golden Gophers travel to Rutgers, the Wilds of New Jersey, to take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Minnesota is a 28 and a half point favorite in this one. Okay, Gophers, I'm convinced. You know what? And even if I weren't convinced, uh, playing against the horrid Scarlet Knights squad uh, would certainly help convince me, at least for this week. Uh, the Knights have been shut out in three of their six games, and they've scored a grand total. Pay attention. They've scored a grand total of seven points in four conference contests. Now, they have played Wisconsin, they've played Michigan State, but they've also played Indiana and got beat 30 to zip by the Hoosier Daddies. Uh, not surprisingly, uh, with an offense that can't sustain drives, the defense gives up a shitload of points. Uh, how many? Well, 41 points per game in conference, to be exact. Uh, the Gophers are 6-0 in the season. They're a little lucky to start off, but they've kind of found their stride in conference play, and uh, they've covered all three of those conference games after going uh, 0-2-1 against the spread their first three se- the first three weeks. Give me the Gophers to roll them up, minus the 28 and a half. Speaking of rolling them up in the Big Ten, we're going to take a look in uh, Champaign, Illinois, as the Wisconsin Badgers uh, are 31.5 point favorites against the Illinois Fighting Illini. Uh, the Badgers, well, they have the best scoring defense in college football. Perhaps you've heard of it. They're giving up just 4.8 points per game, and they have a top five player in the nation in running back Jonathan Taylor. Um, as good as their defense is, uh, they're even better in the first half, outscoring opponents 152 to 3. Um, and Fun fact, their defense has scored as many touchdowns as the defense has given up. That is four. Uh, Illinois, they won't get enough chances uh, against this defense, and they are last in the Big Ten in time of possession, while the Badgers, well, they are third in the country, hanging onto the ball 40 minutes a game. Um, if the Badgers jump up, jump, just uh, if they don't jump out early in this one, as is their habit, uh, the Illinois defense will eventually wear down as the Badgers' offensive line dominates at the point of attack. They give up 201 yards rushing, and that's not going to get any better in this one. Give me the Wisconsin Badgers minus 31.5 against the Illinois Fighting Illini. And 
finishing it up from the very west coast as the Air Force Falcons travel to the Aloha State to take on the Hawaii uh, Rainbow Warriors. Air Force, Air Force is a three-point road favorite here. This game comes down to one question for me, guys. Does Hawaii's pass defense have a better game than the Falcons' pass defense? Uh, we start with the premise that both of these teams are going to be able to do their thing, all right? Air Force is going to run. Hawaii is going to throw. But the Warriors' defense has been absolutely gashed on the road this season, and they haven't seen uh, any team that's nearly as sophisticated as the Falcons are at, uh, at doing it. Uh, Air Force runs the triple option like these other service academies, but uh, they run it a little differently. They had a little kind of a little modern twist to it. They use zone reads, uh, a little bit of counteraction uh, that the other service academies don't really incorporate. Uh, they're going to run basically until you stop them, okay? Uh, they're going to take the occasional deep shot down the field. Probably not going to throw any more than eight to ten times, but when they do, they've been incredibly efficient so far this season. Uh, they're averaging 11.8 yards per attempt. That's third in the country behind Oklahoma in second, and first, well, it's Navy. So it's the teams where they lull you to sleep, lull you to sleep, and then hit you over the middle off the play action uh, for big yardage. Um, the Warriors are going to get theirs. Make no mistake, this is a good, good passing offense with Cole McDonald and some stud wideouts. But McDonald so far has been very turnover prone. He's thrown nine picks on the season. Uh, that is second worst in FBS. And the turnovers... They become even more critical in uh, in games versus teams that hold the ball as long as Air Force because you just don't get that many chances. I like the Falcons right here on the road, minus the three points. So, to recap, give us the Air Force Falcons, minus the three. Wisconsin Badgers, minus 31 and a half. Minnesota Golden Gophers, minus 28 and a half. Appalachian State, minus 14 and a half. The San Diego State, San Jose State, under 46. And the Clemson Tigers minus 24 and a half at the end of those six games. You guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets. We'll have a profitable Saturday. And we will head back to the window. All right, everybody. Let's uh, do our little housekeeping here. Put up our uh, information on the premium picks with the updated stats. By the way, talk about the premium service a lot. We kind of gloss over it. But I do like it is a premium service unlike anybody else. I do have daily video for all my premium subscribers where we talk about the picks. We talk about uh, the reasoning behind them. We go into a pretty good depth on those. So uh, not only do I just, I don't just send you the picks out and say, you know, play these. Uh, we're always going to let you know what we're, we're thinking is and answer any questions that you might have about those picks. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that. So um, we've uh, went one and one yesterday. Still one under for 500 on the, the on October, but we are doing still well on football. 47, 34, and 1 on the season. That is 58%. All right. So if you want to get down the premium picks, make sure that you uh, get yourself signed up there. We'd be happy to have you on the team. All right. All right. So let's start the shout outs here with the, one of the uh, best names I've seen. Uh, Rico Ramos said, I am the turkey chairman. Holy shit. That made me laugh. Um, you know, because I, I told you every time I look up, I'm looking at myself. Here's what I learned how to do today. Look at that, huh? Huh? A little shaking. Bend over, let me see you shake your tail feathers. Um. Anyway, <laughs> Rico, I love that name, man. If I get, if I didn't have to explain that every time about why I call myself the Turkey Chairman, I would use that. That would be my new name. I would be the Turkey Chairman. It's just <laughs> okay. All right. Enough about me, though. Uh, let's start off with our uh, returning champion here, Steve Godon. Uh, Steve, but, uh, he, uh, much like me, he loaded up a little too heavily on the Owls and, uh, he was still able to eke out a, a three and two plus 80 record on the season as the Ohio State took care of business as did Pittsburgh. Uh, Max Luminous, uh, Max is uh, checking in saying good luck on the deep three, of course. I uh, said you and that damn turkey chair. I uh, said he didn't mention my five and one night and, uh, he's two and oh in the second half place. Man, I am convinced that I am not seeing everything that is, that is, uh, written there because, uh, like I told Max in, the, Max in the comment section, I go through these like at least twice a day, usually more than that. And you know me, guys, it's late. I'm old. I'm going to space things. I'm going to miss them. All right. But I'm not going to miss them. Uh, I'm not going to miss them that often. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'll uh, if, if I miss you, it's my apologies. And I'm blaming it on I'm blaming it on technology. Uh, old man yells at cloud. All right. Now, moving on. Uh, Max, uh, Max, again, he uh, he made the mistake of, uh, of tailing us. I mean, I know he had him cooked up on his own, but uh, he had FAU and UNLV. 
The game I laid off of, man, God damn it, the game I laid off of was the Pitt game. And it was because they were kind of uncertain with their running backs there. Uh, both those teams were psycho. And, of course, those are both my leans was the under in Pittsburgh. Uh, but I, I talked myself out of it because of the uncertainty with the, with the injury. So, yeah, good move there. Um, and uh, Max is another case of me not listening when I got with Northwestern play at plus 28. Uh, yesterday, if I listened, I would have gone 6-1 and one with UCLA money line. Said he may still take the 28, but as, ad, as of now, it was a no play. And I hope that stayed a no play as 28 made no difference. Uh, C-Dub. C-Dub had a, a few soccer picks and I just graded the first five. Um, wasn't the best day, but hopefully that evened out and C-Dub ended up doing okay on the day. Uh, time Traveler Steve. Uh, time Traveler Steve. He went, uh, he had a, a four-team parlay and uh, that did, uh, he had two of them. He, had, he missed on the Northwestern team total over 10 and a half. I know, man, 10 and a half. It seems, how, how hard can it be for the home team to get 10 and a half points? Well, when you when you're that god awful, it can it, it can be pretty hard. They uh, they just can't throw the ball, man. They just cannot throw the ball. And when he does occasionally throw a good pass, they're unlikely to catch it. It's a bad combination. Uh, so Steve, he goes uh, he goes ends up going uh, uh, yeah two and two on that parlay. Uh, the astute Ardvark said, "Gobble up these sniffs, and you can own a chair like Scott." <laughs> Dare to dream. Aim high, my friends. Uh, he had. Uh, he had Ohio State, missed out on a couple others. He had the Astros at a nice price, man, plus 136. Ow. I thought I was killing it, plus 120. He waited, he got it even better. Uh, and, uh, yeah, none of this mattered. Um, Mikey B said, God is good. Bless the chat. And he is back, baby. Um, he had uh, he had Pitt, but then he uh, also had Pittsburgh in the NHL. Missed out on a couple of uh, picks where he tailed us, the Houston and the FAU pick. But... Uh, actually, the FAU pick was a premium, but uh, uh, yeah, inadvertent tail there. So he gets he ends up getting juiced on the day. Uh, Daniel Ruan took a swing at the Pelicans, and uh, minus two, they win by one. <laughs> Welcome to my life, Daniel. How is it? Uh, David Cavill said he took the under last night and won. Well done, David. I assume he means on that Stanford game, and that was a uh, yeah. There was a lot of numbers going around there, so if you got it early in the week, you hit it, and if you got it like right at game time, you didn't. Uh, Ninja13 said he went 2-2 two and two yesterday. Uh, he said he had the Senators plus 1.5 against Vegas. I missed that game. I did miss that one. Uh, so my apologies, Ninja. You got juiced yesterday. Uh, Kyle Z. Uh, Kyle Z had a real solid day as he went 3-1 and one on the day. Only missing out on the Astros, but hitting a uh, hitting three from, uh, hitting two from soccer, uh, from soccer, from two from soccer and Fresno State. He goes 3-1 three and, three and one plus 226 on the day. Uh, Eric Maupin. Eric had a decent day. He went 2-1 and one plus 90 as he hit Ohio State and Pittsburgh. Kissed a degenerate. Said, I'm deflated. Said, this bullshit started when uh, Chapman hurt his hand celebrating the one playoff series win. You know, they went and he hit it on a champagne bottle or some ridiculous shit. Said, anyway, tailing you on the Verlander play. Ugh, your life didn't get any better. But, you know, it's one of those games, and we've all played them, where you're like, well, if my team loses, I make money. But if my time, team wins, it is worth the investment. So hopefully it was worth the investment to see your Yankees win and live to fight another day. Halfway through the big two, buddy. They beat one of them. Can they get the other one? We'll see what happens. Uh, Derek Gibson. Uh, Derek Gibson, he had Pitt and Ohio State. Missed out on a couple other ones. Derek, he got juiced. Another one that liked the FAU game, man. I wasn't alone in that one. Uh, Nick Ramparo said, it's turkey time. Said, uh, this just in from Pittsburgh. The winners are as follows. Uh, he ends up going 2-1. and one, And then he played a parlay with three of them. And uh, so he ends up 2-1, uh, and 0-1 one, oh and one on the parlay. He goes plus 17. That's not awful. You know what? A lot of people love to be positive uh, at the end of the day. So uh, you take it, keep your powder dry, you fire at him again tomorrow. Uh, Super Cisco, he had another he had another fine day. Uh, he only missed out on the Columbus Blue Jackets. He had everything in sight on the college side. He went 3-1 and one plus 200. Uh, Cyrus Quinn checked in with a couple plays. Uh, he was digging on Northwestern, and then they just uh, couldn't quite get it done there under the lights. Uh, Kent P. So happy Friday, everybody. we got college games. And uh, he uh, he hit one and then uh, missed out on a uh, uh, the couple, yeah, Ohio State minus seven in the first quarter. That was brutal. So uh, of course they put up 116 points the other three quarters. But yeah, I feel you, brother. Uh, mean Green, Mean Green. You think I forgot you? Did you, buddy? Uh, mean Green. He goes. Uh, he gets the Houston New York under seven and a half. Uh, also had the Houston on the money line and uh, had the FAU Owls as well. And uh, Florida ended up putting the beat down on him as the Florida Panthers did not take care of business there on his NHL picks. So, 
Um, our Kaza cappers are for the day. They are Nick Rampero, 2-1, 0-1 of the parlay, plus 17. Steve Godon, our defending champion, 3-2, plus 80. Time Traveler Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. Time Traveler Steve got juiced. Uh, Eric Maupin, 2-1, plus 90. Super Cisco, 3-1, plus 200. But it is Mr. Perfect, everybody. It is Kyle Zakowski going 3-1, plus 226 on the day. Once again, he is atop the leaderboard. And Kyle Z, you, my friend, are our capper of of the day. Congratulations. Uh, congratulations to everybody else that made a little bit of money. Uh, that was warm-up day. Now it's Saturday. I am for real. Let's get her done, all right? You guys take care. No matter what happens, hey, let's meet back here about the same time tomorrow. You know what the deal. We'll bitch about our bad beats. We'll brag about those fat sticks. And then it's NFL, baby, so we're going to just fire it up, and we'll do it all again, all right? You guys take care. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.